Hello, my name is Michael Marin, and today I will be presenting to you my final project review. This is of the wire hand telling its story. And without further ado, let us begin. Starting off, we have five vocabulary words that we will be uh, using throughout the presentation. We have form, cladding, bounding, contour, and sighting. To start off with, we were tasked with drawing several different hands and hand gestures in several different styles, just to get an idea on how we would actually form our hand and what gestures we would use. And I ended up actually using this hand gesture, an open palm kind of coming at you pose. Moving on from that, we move into our wire studies and wire hand. The studies here are to get an idea on how I would both wrap the wire and fill it out, and also how big it would be. Next we move on to the drawing of our wire hand, just to have a, an idea of how the light would interact with our hand and what type of shadows it would cast. That was the first drawing, it was of the entirety of the hand, and the second one is of just the pinky finger. Then with that, we take the wire hand and put it into Illustrator and use regular lines to kind of section off and create boundaries uh, in the hand. This would kind of hint at what we would be doing with the cladding after we make the box. Before we actually do the cladding, we actually have to make the box. And these are several corner studies that I had done to get an idea on what I could use when creating the box, starting off with sketches, putting them into Rhino, creating these isometric drawings, and before that, making the prototype corners. And with these prototype corners, I had designed two different box iterations, one if I wanted the hand horizontal, or one if I wanted it vertical, which is the one that I ended up using. After choosing, which, after choosing the vertical box, I ended with an instructional GIF just telling me on how I would go and create the box. Right, and after creating the box, I put my hand within it just to get an idea on how the hand interacts with the box and what spaces I have available to me for further uh, improvements. And that's what I do in Rhino. I go through and added some frames for and what, for which the cladding will uh, be sitting on. And I also added a bit of a moving element to mine as well. Just a more interesting way of framing the hand. After that we move into the sectional drawing so you can get an idea of what the inside of the box looks like without actually having to cut the box in half. Moving on from that, we go into the siding of the box and the pedestal that it sits on. On the top you can see the uh, entranceway and it just kind of sits in the middle and the only way for you to actually see what's in it is if you were to walk through, but the giant opening here kind of displays it just so you know what you're getting into before you walk in there. The pedestal itself has uh, both the front and the back are completely open. You can see straight through it. On the right side, it is a little more constrained to getting rid of all that empty space on the top and the left and right, only really framing the box. And then the left side is kind of imitating what the cladding is doing where it's just cutting through the middle and only framing the top fingers and the bottom empty half of the box. And with that being said, we move into the actual box, the finished product with the cladding attached. And here are a few images of the box in hand under the influence of light, creating very interesting shadows that are being casted on the cladding. And that being said, thank you very much. I'll transition on to the real Mikey here. 
uh, for any questions or comments. Thank you very much.